Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, I learned a few things in between episodes, so I'll go over those in a minute. I can't remember who we played as last. Probably it was Metal Mario since Metal Mario selected. So let's go to Pink Gold Peach. Oh my goodness, they sound so weird. Anyway, let's go with the default cart, and let's head on over to... Where were we up to? Looks like we're up to the DLC tracks, cups, those ones. Egg cup. So, I learned a few things. The first one being is if you have a coin in your first item slot, because you need space for a second item, as long as you have that hold on to that, that, that coin, the next item you get will, will not be a coin, which could be good for getting more items, theoretically. So, I need to probably hold on to coins more often instead of just using them immediately. The other thing that I need to keep in mind is also, if you are right behind somebody else for long enough, like I was trying to do just then, you actually get a, a slipstream boost, which means you get the little, like, airwaves around you, showing you getting a boost. And that means that, yeah, that's, that's a good way to get ahead of the first people in front of you because you can just sit behind them slightly and absorb speed from them basically and boost past them. Unfortunately the other thing about that is that if they have an item they can probably drop it on you which is especially bad when you're playing against other people because they can probably see your screen if you're playing in local like uh, just one switch but if you're, if you're playing on multiple switches you will probably have a better chance of not getting hit by Anybody else's stuff while you're behind them? Maybe, maybe not. You can usually see people behind you sometimes, but anyway. So yeah, that's the stuff that I've learned, pretty much. And I've learned this because I've been playing against people who are really good at the game. So, I need to get better at it, so. Oh my goodness, items. But yeah, the people I was playing against like, I'm generally the best player there, but there's one other person who's better that than at the game than me. And... Um... Like, uh, about nine or ten months ago, I played against them, and my skill was, like, three levels below them. But then, more recently, in the past week, I think, which is surprising, where, where, how is time going so slow? It felt like on the day it was going so fast. But anyway, on that day when I played against the person again, I felt like I was only half, like, the level below them. So I, I definitely got better at the game in the past 10 months. But I need to, I need to get better, is what I'm saying. And currently I'm doing fairly alright, considering I'm not even paying attention to the game that much, and I'm almost caught up to 12th place. I think that one of the biggest problems I had when playing against this other person was that whenever they were so far ahead that I had no chance of catching up to them, which was a lot of the time. There were times when I tried to figure out new tricks, which is not a great thing to do when you're going against somebody who's doing really well, because I just, like, I try to do a new trick that I haven't done before, which isn't even a trick, I'm just trying out something new and hoping that it's actually going to be more efficient. And it's not, as it turns out, because they usually just crash into things and be off, off the edge of the track. Oh, anyway, I might consider trying to speedrun this game at some point just to get better at it. There's so much luck involved. The other thing that I was, uh, I found out kind of, is that in, um, hang on, thinking, my brain is frozen. Uh, when going against other people, other actual players, it might actually be better to hang back in second or third place just so that that person in first will get a lot of the hits. But then you'll probably also get hit by a lot of things behind you if you're staying too far back and everyone else is catching up to you. I don't know. Also, I'm not sure how well my advice is going to go when you're going up against 12 other players because I'm just thinking about four-player multiplayer stuff right now. 
just because that's all I've really had experience with. But anyway, we're doing well on this track so far. Please don't be a coin. No. Oh, that's actually fine. Because I just... Oh, but I lost it anyway. No mind. Cool. Everything's going according to plan. Not my plan. Somebody else's plan. But yeah, this track really is just different every single time. It's so different. I'm going to hold on to this coin. Actually, no, I'm going to use it. Since I have no space for another item. This should be good. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that coin now. Wow. That's just really disappointing at how often it gives you coins. Okay, I'm going to hold on to this coin now. I'm going to risk it. I'm risk using a coin to get more items. Okay, that was sad. I need to stop using coins to trade with double item boxes because double item boxes would theoretically have a high chance of just giving me more good items, but usually they just give me a coin which I just threw away a coin and then something else, but anyway. How did I hit? What, did I hit Isabel? I think I hit Isabel. Anyway. I came zeroth place because I passed the person in twelfth, right? That's how that works. I also think I need to get better at choosing cards, even though I usually pick what I believe is the best card in the game, but I think I need to actually understand how each card works, like each card customization works, because I don't really experiment with that much, I just use the one that's theoretically the best. And I don't know how to get better at knowing how each card works. So that is, th those are my thoughts at the moment. I think it's worth using coins when you don't have many in... When you just don't have many collected, because I believe... That the more you collect, the faster you go. It's probably not a very big difference, but it's probably enough to help... With... Catching up to stuff and not get falling behind. So coins are actually useful. Okay. Second lap. Man, not having things to talk about is strange after all that. Also, there's this other thing called brake drifting, which I haven't really gotten the hang of at all. But basically, when you're drifting and you hold brake, you can turn tighter corners. But also, I don't like braking ever, pretty much. Not even on 200cc, but I, it would probably help me a lot if I brake, 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 brake? Ah, wordings. If I brake drifted, I'd probably have a better chance of turning around some of these corners. Except if you hold it down too much you, and don't have the right angle, you just stop. So yeah, that's... There's a lot of things that you need to learn to get really good at this game. I mean, you can be... Like, you can be better than every computer player and like every average player and be fine. But when you go up against other players, just the, the difficulty level and just how much you need to get better at the game is very obvious. Other players that are about the same level or more. I don't know. Anyway. We're almost at the end of this cup already. Where did it go? I don't even know. Also, I had a fairly big break in between episodes because my HDMI splitter broke. And I didn't know where my second, my spare one went. And I still don't know where, where that went. But basically... <laughs> My, my splitter, the, the bit that you plug the power into broke off inside of the, the black box splitter. And I don't know how that happened, but it's so specific with the pins on it. 
Belly pins? I don't know. That I couldn't... There's, there wasn't really any chance of fixing it. But you know, it's probably a good thing since it gave me a chance to learn new things about Mario Kart. Okay, that was a good use of a coin there. If, it, if there's something coming towards you and you do have something in your second slot, probably just use the coin and then have the other item ready. Man, I'm looking forward to the faster CCs already. Okay. Don't touch the bar. Okay. We're good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. That's bad. Bad even. I'm gonna get some of these coins here since they're that easy to get on the F Zero tracks. It's also good to keep an eye on your map to see where blue shells are, if there are any. <laughs> Which you may not even have to worry about if you're usually in. No, no, not in first place. Oh, there's a blue shell there. I need to hurry up and see if I can get an item before it gets here. Oh, don't know if I can do that, though. Please, luck, give me a boom box. Alternately, bananas might even work. Kind of. It kind of works. I'm not sure if it's better to do that or not. Because it's all it all depends on how fast you can get back to top speed. And how much time you would have lost if you got hit by multiple things as well. It's stuff that I need to probably figure out as I try to get better at the game. Okay. That was alright. And that's the end of the egg cup. Gold three stars. And new vehicle customization, so... Some more stuff to could be concerned about later on in life. Anyway, let's head back into 100cc and let's switch over to Wario. Cheater! Amazing. Got the Mach 8. Which is interesting. I think the, uh... This pipe frame is also fast-ish. There's, there's so many things I need to check as well. Just... Yeah, there's just so many things I need to learn. Time to start off with the worst track in the game. I would be a lot happier if it was just like a go-kart track, but nope. Baby Park is a... Uh, is short loop thing. Uh, with just items. It's a good chaos concept, but it's not a great... It's just not great. <laughs> I really do not like Baby Park. Mostly because you can't tell what place everyone is in. It'd be good if the icons on the map maybe had... Like, a colour up to them. If you were in the top four spots or something. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Also, maybe um, the ranks above characters, just so you can see where they are, or what they are up to. It, the thing is about that though, is you'd have to have it, it just wouldn't really make sense for most tracks, other than this one, pretty much. So it's basically pointless. Okay, this is such a chaotic level. I think brake drifting would be good in this, though, so I can, like... Uh, nope, nope, nope. I'm so bad at brake drifting, it hurts.
Okay, that was a pretty good break drift. Because I actually didn't hold it for too long. Okay, that was really bad break drift. This is just how my life is now. He's trying to get break drifting to work and not having it work. Don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Just wanna win this one. Good shot. Okay. There we go. And Cooper Tripper is in second place, and I don't think he was right behind me. So I think I was good for that one. I still don't like it, but I was alright. Eh, maybe not. Alright. I have a deep hatred for it, actually. Every night, I feel Baby Park. And wonder why. Okay. Man, this is such a... It's, it's... It's strange going back to the slower CCs after usually playing faster ones. Even... 150cc is not that insanely fast compared to 200cc, but it is also... It's still alright compared to all the other ones since 50 and 100cc are fairly relaxed. Okay. Oh. There is also, I believe, a website that you can use to kind of compare different cart combinations. Which I'd probably recommend using to figure out what you'd like to use. Acceleration is good because it means you can get back up to top, top speed quickly. I think that's how that works, what makes it the best for the best car, I think. But I, I, I think it also possibly... And it's a... and or... Um, what is it? My brain. My brain. Uh, and or... Okay, my brain is really not wanting to figure out that right now. I think it and or makes you go over the, your top speed, possibly. I'm probably wrong about that because I don't actually know the specific details about everything in this game, but it's what I think of when using stuff. Okay. I shouldn't have used that coin just then. This is just this is just the problem that I have. I'm using items too quickly if they don't appeal. Okay, let's hold on to things, except we're at the end of the track anyway, so it doesn't even matter. There's a lot of rainbows. So many star powers being used. Okay, we're getting through this cup fairly quickly as well. Wild Woods, here we go. Wario in the Wild Woods. Alliteration. Okay. Okay. I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I go from... Oh talking a lot to talking not at all and then I go back and forth between those two I don't know why let's try to use this full boost from the water here that was a good first lap I oh know that was a good time to get rid of that coin. Got another one back anyway. But if, it, if there was a chance of getting a better item, it's possibly worth it. Even if I don't, I have to just hold on to another coin. 
Should have held onto that coin longer, but it's fine because there's a blue shell here anyway. Which made everything not matter at all. And now I'm losing. Cool. Oh, Mario, get back here, get back here. It's possible also, based on my experience playing with other people again, that baby characters are also really good. I might be wrong about that though. Go, 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 go. I think I'm playing worse now that I'm focusing on the game. That's the problem. Before I was doing okay because I was talking a lot and not actually thinking about the game, and now... Now I'm thinking about the game, I'm not doing as well. It's all about... It's all about the psychology of thinking about the game. Also, whenever I'm behind somebody, or like in front of somebody, I always, like, if I see that they have an item, I, I probably panic too much because I usually try to dodge out of the way preemptively and then have it, um, not even, they don't even do anything to me and then I mess myself up by doing that. Which is a problem. A lot of the places in this race aren't actually changing that much. Everybody's staying in the same ranks, but I'm pretty sure that the the AI stays about the same skill level each time anyway. Man, Animal Crossing is good, but it does take a long time to do everything. I love, I love the different seasons. I also particularly love, I don't know, I like rain, and I also like the pre-summer, like still spring, still like coming out of winter warmth I like as well. Okay, We're doing good. I don't recognize all these characters, but I guess a lot of characters do have. Okay. Also, I think if they do make another Mario Kart game, that it'd be cool to have glider sections that play like regular sections of driving so that you can um like you're gliding but you can also control slightly better and it's not as wavy and you actually you don't hit the ground until you actually reach the end of that and you can yeah move around and all that just stuff like that would be good for another Mario Kart the next level is probably going to be more variations on how you can control in different sections. Oh my goodness, again? Can't even hit my own bananas with blue shells right behind me. Although I guess it's good if I'm getting hit by blue shells because they probably don't give them to players until I'm really far ahead. Got a boombox though now, so that <laughs> that's not going to be useful in the next five seconds. But there we go. That's the leaf cup down. And of course it's got Baby Park in the background. It's a good thing I skipped that, otherwise we'll be playing that over again. New vehicle custom customization unlocked, which is good. And we're almost at the end of 100cc. Almost. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.